Hello and welcome to another My SDCCD training video. Today we're going to show you how to submit faculty forms online. Uh, first thing you need to do is go ahead and log into My SDCCD and go to your college faculty dashboard. Uh, once here, you want to look on the right hand side and see the documents and forms section or pagelet. And go ahead and click on forms to open it up. Uh, you will see here all the list of forms that are available for you to submit. Uh, the first link here is always going to be the link that allows you to submit the forms online. Uh, the following subsequent links are the PDFs themselves. Uh, so we'll go ahead and do the grade change form here. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the form. It's going to open up uh, Adobe Reader. You do want to make sure you have the latest version of Adobe Reader. And so when you get to the PDF, uh, go ahead and uh, start to fill out the form. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and skip most of this. Uh, basically, you do want to make sure that the PDF is completely filled out. Um, when you get to the end, you're going to go ahead and date it, and then you're going to go ahead and sign it. Uh, if you do not already have your PDF signature set up, there is another video that I'll show you how to set it up. Otherwise, you want to click on the pen icon up here, uh, select your signature, and then drop it in the instructor signature box. Uh, once you do that, uh, you're going to go ahead and save the PDF. And what this will do is this will lock the PDF for further changes. So make sure that you do have the form completely filled out uh, prior to adding in your signature. OK, so what you go ahead and do now is go ahead and save the PDF. And you want to then go back to the My SDCCD portal. And we're going to go ahead and click on here and click on Submit Faculty Forms Online. This will take us to our uh, my SDCCD support portal. Uh, one thing to note, if you do have a login here, go ahead and log in by clicking on this top right link, uh, login. Otherwise, uh, if this is your first time here, you can go ahead and just submit the form and then you'll have the opportunity to create your account after you uh, submit it. So we're going to indicate the semester uh, we are submitting this form for. Uh, put in our employee ID. Uh, this is the same ID you use when you log into my SDCCD. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the folder where the uh, PDF is and I'm going to take this and I'm going to drag it and drop it into the attachment box here in the portal. So as you can see now, uh, the grade change form is here. Uh, you can add in other documents. If it's the incomplete form, you will actually want to submit that packet of materials that the students need to complete uh, to your dean directly. Uh, you wouldn't want to submit it through here. Uh, go ahead and put in your email address. You're going to indicate which form you are submitting. So I'm submitting the grade assignment change form. Go ahead and click on that. I am submitting this to, in this case, Mesa College. And I'm submitting this for the uh, math major. And then by uh, checking this box, I authorize the college listed to process the form on my behalf. And then you go ahead and type in your full name uh, as your signature. And if you need to provide any comments, you can do so down here. And then all you have to do is hit send. Once you hit submit, uh, you should be taken to your confirmation page where you should receive your reference number or ticket number. Um, also, it'll let you know that the email confirmation was sent to your email address, your sdccd.email address uh, right here. Uh, you do want to make sure you do use your sdccd email address as that helps us verify your identity. Uh, so within a few minutes, uh, you should be receiving an email that looks similar to this. Uh, this will have uh, your confirmation that your faculty form has been received. Um, all you have to do if you want to view the request and the status of the request is to click on the view request button down here. This will take you to the login page where you can either log in or if you do not have an account set up already, it will ask you to create your account. Uh, this allows us to verify your identity so each time you communicate with us, um, you use your email address and password, and that kind of serves as your uh, electronic signature. Um, the other thing to note is if you did submit an incomplete form, you will be asked to submit the incomplete packet to your dean. Uh, otherwise, uh, the process for each faculty form is still the same. Um, this just provides you with an online solution to submit the forms to the admissions office. 
Uh, that's about it. Thank you very much.